Race World Offshore Great Lakes Grand Prix is presented by Performance Boat Center, the nation's largest full-service performance boat dealer. Hello and welcome to Race World Offshore's inaugural Great Lakes Grand Prix. I'm Mark Spencer along with my partner Rich Lures and we'll be covering all of today's excitement. This is Headland Beach Park in Mentor, Ohio, the headquarters for the race and some of the most exciting equipment in offshore racing is gathered here today. I'm Rich Lures, and my partner Mark Spencer will take you through the boats and the classes. Here's the setup, Rich. Some of the best offshore racers in the world in the Supercat class, twin 750s, that's 1,500 horsepower. These boats are capable of speeds close to 120 miles an hour. Later in the day, we'll have the Pro Stock Cat class, twin outboards, 600 horsepower. The city of Mentor is alive, and they've rolled out the red carpet for the world's best offshore racers. It's a great thing to have you guys here. You know, boats from all over the country come here. It brings light here in Menor, and not only Menor, but the surrounding communities. The races energized the entire region. The nearby town of Willoughby, Ohio held a street parade, an event unlike other motorsports, where the local people have an opportunity to get together with the racers up close and personal. We're very lucky to be able to do it, and it is what I grew up wanting to do, so I don't mind sharing it with anybody that wants to come out and, and climb up and sit in the boat, and any kids want to come out. It's awesome to be able to give them that, that experience. We're excited to have the boats here because we've been telling people these are million-dollar pieces of art that float, so it's a great extension of the Willoughby Arts Festival. We've got probably 1,000, maybe 2,000 people here right now, so this helps our community out in a big way. From the excitement of the streets, let's go where the real excitement is, on the water. In the milling area, the boats are getting ready and the drivers are tightening their kidney belts. Things are looking tough. Tough is the word, Mark. The Great Lakes are notorious for being calm one minute and rough the next. In the U.S. Class 1, the Unlimited Class, due to some last-minute scratches, Jeff Harris and Rusty Rahm, they'll be running alone today, uncontested. But the real bow-to-bow -bow competition today is in the Supercat class. It's a great class. You know, we had this class 15 years ago that we won the championship on a few years in a row. And the class is back. It's a little bit different, but it's very competitive. The boats are so evenly matched. And you got to be on your game, and everything's got to be perfect for you to win. And that's what it takes in this class. That's probably 80% of your race, is get a clean start, clean water, so we can do what we need to do around the course. Possibly sweep the turns a little faster than, than some others. Um, but if you're five or six back and you're dealing with that uh, wash down and the white water, and um, you're just giving away seconds. We are racing in a class that has the world's toughest competition, hands down. The Super Cat class, WHM, Billy Moff has been running in this event 30 plus years. To go out and, and, and butt heads and battle with Billy is a lot of fun. And, uh, but you know, at the end of the day, you wanna, you wanna come in right side up, you wanna have a good, safe, fun race, and uh, put on a good show for the spectators and build the sport. You know, that's what we're all here to do. As the boats are leaving the milling area, let's take a look at today's lineup. Performance Boat Center, WHM Motorsports, Cleveland Construction, MGI Digital, and MCON. The excitement is building, the adrenaline is up, and when that yellow flag is swapped out for green, we will have a start. Green flag, we are green flag, yellow, here they come. And a start we have. The Super Cats are stretching their legs. They're starting to really rev up. Look at wake effects fly by. That is more than double the horsepower of the rest of the fleet. Twin 1,650 horsepower engines. The boat is capable of speeds in excess of 200 miles an hour, but not today, not in this big stuff. And Mark, the highest impact chess game you can imagine has just begun. In most types of motorsports racing, it's all about top speed, not today. Major air out of the MGI Digital there. In today's race, it's all about acceleration. Each time one of those boats hits a wave, the throttle man's gotta come back on the gas sticks, save the engines, keep the boat alive. Go to the turn, go to the turn, go to it. Go behind him, go to the pin. Straighten it up, straighten it up. Beautiful. MCON has taken the lead and has taken a calculated risk. These seas are very, very rough. The G-forces in there are extraordinary. When you're running into Great Lakes, it's like running into wall after wall of bricks. Less than a two-second lead for our leader. The battle for second, Performance Boat Center and Cleveland Construction running deck to deck. 
And here's a big disappointment. One of the early favorites, Billy Moff and Jay Muller in WHM Motorsports, have a significant problem. They're down to one engine. They're continuing, but they're going very slowly. We started with five, we're down to four. The battle for second place is deck to deck action. Each driver trying to maintain their lane. And inside the cockpit, communication between the driver and throttle man, it's key. I see it. To the left, to the left, to the left. Go! And as we approach the end of the first lap, the crews are already calling their chiropractors for appointments tomorrow morning. Your leader, MCON, he took a calculated risk he upped the pace quite a bit, and he's challenging the others to maintain it. Well, they are. They're running for second place three wide. It is anybody's race right now. The conditions are extraordinarily rough for this kind of close deck-to-deck -deck racing, but their focus is amazing in these seas. And just like that, Performance Boat Center with Johnny Tomlinson on the throttles makes a bold move. Looks like he's going out now and trying to track down the leader, MCON. MCON, however, is holding him off, fighting back. And as this race continues, we'll be right back. When you want performance fast, for performance you can trust, Performance Boat Center is the nation's largest performance dealership with all the nation's top brands in one location. Utilizing over 30 years of sales experience to help you consign, sell, or buy the right boat. From drive repair to rebuilds, to engine maintenance and repair to custom rigging, our Mercury and Verado certified technicians will get you back on the water fast. From touch-ups to a complete paint job, Paint by Performance has you covered from concept to application. Go to performanceboatcenter.com, where the focus is performance and getting performance fast. The strength of a building starts on the inside. Just like Cleveland Construction, it's what's inside us that matters most. People who seek challenges that sharpen expertise, who take no shortcuts to building the right way, who team up like family, growing together and standing by their every word. Depend on a national builder that has what it takes on the inside. Cleveland Construction, let's team up to make it true. At Huntington, we're always thinking of ways to help customers. So when we heard they needed help tracking spending, we invented the spending drone. Have we made any decisions? Yeah. We'll start with the oysters. Over budget. We'll both do the lobster. Over budget. With the truffle. Over budget. Potatoes. Then we simplified. Presenting Huntington Heads Up. You set the monthly amounts you want to spend on restaurants, and we'll send you a heads up to keep you on track. Looking out for you by looking out for your money. Huntington. Welcome. Welcome to remarkable Lake County, Ohio. Only 20 miles east of Cleveland on the southern shores of Lake Erie. Experience breathtaking landscapes, beaches, wineries, heritage sites, and festivals throughout the year. Remarkable Lake County, Ohio. Visit mylakeoh.com. Race World Offshore Great Lakes Grand Prix is brought to you by Performance Boat Center with locations in Lake of the Ozarks and South Florida and by Cleveland Construction. You have the vision. We make it true. We started with five boats. We're down to four. We're three laps in and there hasn't been a time anywhere in this race, Rich, where there's been less than three seconds distance between the first and the rest of the pack. I don't think anybody has shown all of their cards yet. I do know that John Tomlinson has a history of testing the other boats in the race. He's trying to find out who has how much, and he usually saves quite a bit for the ending. Less than two seconds between our leaders and falling back off the pace, Randy Swears, Glenn Hibbert, seem to be having some problems in the MGI Digital. Our early leader, MCON, is now being challenged for second place, being relegated to third place. As the seas are getting rougher, these long spanning 40 foot skaters, the newer ones, seem to have just a little advantage in these very choppy and strong conditions. Acceleration coming out of the turns, oh so important today. All three of the top boats are within striking distance of each other. They're maintaining their lanes. They're almost running gunnel to gunnel. Go behind him. Nice. Yep. These impacts are growing inside those cockpits. These seas are building. You notice that the Performance Boat Center had started to slow down just a little bit. John Tomlinson using that experience he has. Maybe he's saying, let me let the other guys take a beating and let me watch as they proceed down the course. Cleveland Construction, they want the lead. Ed Smith and Grant Brueggemann, they're flying flat out. 
as we suspected, major problems in the engine compartment of the MGI Digital. When you did that with the throttles, it torque steer. When you're when we're going down the water, it's not torque steering at all. Yeah, but I also have the trick of the difference on me. And then there were three. Cleveland construction in the league. Ed Smith and Grant Brueggemann taking air. That was a good one. Yep. Straight to it. I'm going to stand right on a pin. Yeah. Okay, our streak's coming back. Come on, go to it, go to it. Everybody now is playing a very, very tight game. You can see the Performance Boating Center is laying back, letting MCON pass him. Or is he having problems? We don't know. But John Tomlinson, again, he has that knack for knowing what the boat can take and what the other guys can take as well. We'll see now how he plays his cards as this course gets rougher and rougher and rougher. So let's take a look at the leaderboard and see where we're at, Rich. Three boats remain, 15 lap race, cut down to 11 because of the water conditions. And really, we don't know a whole lot. Each of these three boats that remain have spent time in the lead. Yeah, and I'm watching the Performance Boat Center because, as we know, they've got a very experienced throttle man, but there's two completely different things going on here. John Tomlinson laying back a bit, and Grant Brueggemann, who's also been around for about 40 years, he's pushing the pace. So it's an interesting game to watch two guys who really know their stuff and how they're approaching this. Revving up for the last few laps of the race, it seems like these guys have spent half their time in the water and half the time in the air. No, I've got water pressure issues right now. The guys have been taking a beating. It's got to be both physically fatiguing and mentally fatiguing. It's a game of cat and mouse. Who do you give the cat and who do you call the mouse, Rich? It's interesting because the cat and the mouse right now are two very experienced throttlemen. You've got John Tomlinson in Performance Boat Center. They seem to have backed off a little bit, and suddenly Cleveland Construction, with Grant Brueggemann at, on the throttles, has pushed the pace. So it's, a, I think it's a question of like heavyweight fighters. They're fainting, they're testing, they're seeing who's got what, who's got the knockout punch is yet to be seen. Less than three seconds separates the three boats, and probably the most impressive storyline so far, Rich, has been the performance of Tyson Garvin and Tyler Miller, virtual newcomers to the sport, doing head-to-head -head battle with two veterans. And also, their boat is older. This is the old WHM Motorsports skater that's been re-rigged at Performance Boat Center. That's a real tribute to Performance Boat Center. Their boat's in the lead, and another boat they set up is right there fighting with them. Deck-to-deck -deck racing throughout this entire event here in Mentor, Ohio, and it seems only appropriate, Rich, that that's how it's going to go right down to the finish. Cleveland Construction versus Performance Boat Center. They've been going head-to-head. -head. Who saved what here for the end? Absolutely, Mark. As a matter of fact, it's down to these two. The MCON has fallen back just a little bit. Actually, it's more like a quarter of a mile right now, and it looks like that they're out of touch. They don't have a shot any longer at winning this race. We're right down now to the final last little bit of this race, Rich, and it looks like Performance Boat Center has an edge. It's down to this, the final turn. Performance Boat Center has the lead. Cleveland Construction has to make a big charge right now to the finish line. Performance Boats and Cleveland Construction Nobody's holding anything back right now, and they're right down to the finish line, and it looks like, yes, it is. It's Performance Boat Center by two boat lengths. While the headlines will go to Performance Boat Center and Cleveland Construction, a well-earned third place for the MCON team. That's it, that's it. That's good. Ah. good job, Ed. I don't know what went on with the water pressure, but there is no way that, that was a checkered flag. flag, right? That was yeah. it. Well, that was an offshore barn burner for the ages. One of the greatest races in the history of the sport. You had to take some chances out there, and you had to really push the boat. And if you didn't, you weren't going to win. And we took those chances and were able to pick it up at the end. So it was just testament to the team on a race like this. I think about the fourth or fifth lap in, we just uh, noticed we were losing a little bit of water pressure on the one motor. I had that uh, same issue on, on last race. So, uh, you know, by the time I was going to check it and that, you know, I wanted to be safe and sorry, knowing that there was going to be a, you know, a second heat. We actually just left the boat took it over to shop. Uh, they're pulling their motors out right now in the headers and uh, we took a little fiberglass damage, some D-lamb, but uh, we'll have that fixed and we'll be ready for the next race.
If you thought that was exciting, you haven't seen nothing yet. Up next, the Pro Stock Cat Class, racing off the shores of Lake Erie from Mentor, Ohio. It's never-ending fun at the destination for dining and more, Redhead Lakeside Grill. Open seven days a week. The saltwater pool is full and ready for summer fun. Stop by for our new breakfast buffet, 9 till noon, Saturday and Sundays. We have three patios with outside seating overlooking the pool and the lake, or dine inside. Redhead Lakeside Grill, your year-round destination for dining and more. We're a national construction firm that builds buildings and partnerships. Operating as a family, dedicated to your success, and ready for the next challenge. We don't let the project run us, we run the project. Because we own our responsibilities and deliver on our promises. You have the vision, we make it true. At Huntington, we're always thinking of ways to help customers. So when we heard they needed help tracking spending, we invented the self-driving cart. Then we simplified, presenting Huntington Heads Up. You set the monthly amounts you want to spend on groceries, and we'll send you a heads up to keep you on track. Looking out for you by looking out for your money. Huntington, welcome. Race World Offshore Great Lakes Grand Prix is presented by Performance Boat Center, the nation's largest full-service performance boat dealer, and by Redhead Lakeside Grill in Osage Beach, Missouri, American cuisine with Midwest flair. Mother Nature is proving that she's the strongest force on this race course today. A real challenge for these pro stock cats out here on Lake Erie. Here's the lineup for today's event, Rich. These are pro stock cats. 28 to 32 foot twin Mercury 300 outboards, F and J propellers, Team Allen, CR Racing and Advanced Sleeve with one V bottom, the Team Octane. A great entry level class, this pro stock class. And teamwork is key here just as in the other classes and there's no better team than a father and a son. Ten years ago, we adopted Andre. He was ten years old from Russia. Um, I was racing the dirt trucks. He was racing the, the goat carts uh, about two years after he got here. We are kind of going different directions all over the Midwest and decided to tighten it up a little bit and uh, put a P4 boat together two years ago, and here we are today with Moved Up a Class. I drive and my dad throttles. Sometimes when, when it gets a little hectic, you know, there's some uh, words that are exchanged or phrases, um, but that's just racing. There may very well be some words exchanged today as Team Allen will be competing against offshore veteran and world champion Gary Ballou. Because it's a lake, what we've learned here in the past couple of years is that uh, it can be really nice and flat and about a half hour later it can be bumpy. So we wait till tomorrow morning to even make any predictions on it. We'll go down and take a look at the water and throw a propeller on it that we think is going to be applicable for the race and hope that it doesn't change. And that's what experience gives you. Gary Ballou was correct in waiting until this morning because this morning shows us a very, very rough set of sea conditions. As we go to green flag racing, the setup here, Rich, is very much like it was in the Supercats. The boats are all very comparable when it comes to performance, when it comes to horsepower. This game comes down to who is the best driver and the best throttleman combination in rough water, who had their boats set up right, and most important of all, who's got the most acceleration. In big water like this, it all comes down not to a game of top end speed, but who can accelerate coming in and out of the water. And here's that V-bottom you mentioned, Mark, running alone in the Pro Stock V-Class, Tony Canal and Jim Simmons. You know, Rich, I can't stress just how important propellers are in this particular class. It's kind of like in a NASCAR race or an IndyCar race where it's all about the tires. In the world of offshore powerboat racing, a propeller is much like the tires. Who's got the traction? Who's got the control? Who's got the best setup? Well, Mark, this particular class doesn't have the advantage of all the horsepower we saw earlier in the Supercat class. These outboards are very evenly matched, and with a total of 600 horsepower, the lightness of the boat, the center of gravity of the boat, and of course the propellers, as you said, are key to performance. Eight lap race, we're two laps in, and of course, no surprise, Gary Ballou out in front. And experience has come to the lead as the S1 FJ propellers with Jimmy Harrison on the wheel, Gary Ballou on the throttles, and of course, Team Allen in second place. A good accounting from the father and son team. CR Racing, Rob Unterstall driving Casey Boaz on the throttles. 
and Ryan Beckley's advanced sleeve with Tanner Lewis at the wheel. The big battles out in front, but we've actually got some really competitive deck-to-deck -deck racing between third place finisher CR Racing and advanced sleeve. They've got these boats tucked down, trying to navigate through these white cap waters, trying to keep the propellers to have a bite, keep moving forward, make a move on the leaders. We're three laps into the race, and right now the lap times for the first and second place boats are virtually identical, and in fact, Ryan Beckley is closing on the leading two. But falling off the pace somewhat is the CR racing. Appears like they've got some problems in the cockpit. And the Pro Stock V of Tony Canal and Jim Simmons, the Octane, running really well considering the conditions. You called it, Rich. Problems in the cockpit of Casey Boaz and Rob Understall's boat. They're out of the race, heading back to the pits. Well, the drama is no longer for the lead in lap number five. FJ Propeller has taken a strong lead. The battle now is for second place. An S111 advanced sleeve making a big, bold move on the inside of Team Allen right here at turn number three. What's happening right now, Rich, is they're both trying to use each other, the competitive battle in second place to push each other to try to reel in the front runner F and J propellers. They're running deck to deck, they're running side by side, each one trying to pick a lane, figure out where the good water is, and just keep their sights set on Gary Ballou out in front. And as we watch here, conditions are deteriorating. They don't have windshield wipers, but they gotta try to clean off some of that condensation inside the cockpit. Here's a perfect Perfect time to compare two completely different hulls. The one on the outside, the S-17, is a Doug Wright design. The inner boat, the S-111, is a skater. And right now, the bigger boat, the slightly larger boat, the Doug Wright, is taking advantage of that length as it goes to this extraordinarily rough condition. And for the first time this race, the leader at the end of that lap was advanced sleeve in second place over the S-17. But that S-17 is coming back with a vengeance. In less than three laps, weather conditions have really deteriorated. F&J Propellers is still out in front, but Team Allen has really closed the gap and is making a run here at the finish. And the race officials have shortened the race, which cost this team greatly as they've run out of time to catch F&J Propellers, the winners of the race. F&J Propeller led virtually from start to finish. Team Allen, second place, a hard fought race. Advanced Lee followed by CR Racing and Team Octane. Hats off to uh, all the competitors that, that finished the race because if you can't finish a race, then you're never going to win it. But we were fortunate enough to uh, put the Frank and Jimmy's boat out front today. To uh, maybe finish ahead of uh, Ryan and finish behind Gary, that's, that's a heck of an accomplishment. Uh, it's about like winning the Daytona 500 for us. Rough conditions. We had a great battle with all the boats in our class. Greg, in his first time driving the Cat, did an amazing job behind the wheel. We just had a lot of fun today. Weather conditions kind of created a little bit of fog and a little haze on the windshield, so we stopped, had to clean up the windshield and, and get going. But we, I looked over and talked to Ryan. I said, let's go, we can get him. And we, we got him, and the weather conditions just kind of took it from there. But we had Weather shortened both the Super Cat and the Pro Stock Cat races and canceled the second heat for the Super Cat class. Up next, round two of the Race World Offshore Great Lakes Grand Prix from Dunkirk, New York. When you want performance fast, for performance you can trust, Performance Boat Center is the nation's largest performance dealership with all the nation's top brands in one location. Utilizing over 30 years of sales experience to help you consign, sell, or buy the right boat. From drive repair to rebuilds, to engine maintenance and repair to custom rigging, our Mercury and Verado certified technicians will get you back on the water fast. From touch-ups to a complete paint job, Paint by Performance has you covered from concept to application. Go to performanceboatcenter.com, where the focus is performance and getting performance fast. The strength of a building starts on the inside. Just like Cleveland Construction, it's what's inside us that matters most. People who seek challenges that sharpen expertise, who take no shortcuts to building the right way, who team up like family, growing together and standing by their every word. Depend on a national builder that has what it takes on the inside. Cleveland Construction, let's team up to make it true. My granddad would say, showing up is different than stepping up. My roommate said it best. Don't take yourself so seriously. Surround yourself with good people. Trust yourself. It's OK to ask for help. My doctor said that. On the day we started getting my blood pressure under control. The best advice comes from the people who take the time to listen. We think your doctor should be one of them. Metro Health. 
Change is healthy. Race World Offshore Great Lakes Grand Prix is presented by Performance Boat Center, the nation's largest full-service performance boat dealer, and by Athenix, improving the lives of cancer patients everywhere, and by DFT Communications, serving Chautauqua County and beyond. Well, we've come from Menor, Ohio to Dunkirk, New York. Same lake, Lake Erie, but today she's quite a bit calmer than she was in the last race. The Supercats have journeyed over here for heat one of round two of the Race World Offshore Great Lakes Grand Prix. Race fans from all over New York have gathered for the street parade where the fans have a chance to interact one-on-one -on -one with the race teams. There's a lot of excitement here in the city right now, and I can tell you that uh, for me, this is the first major event like this that we're hosting in the city, so I'm very proud of our guys that have been working, our team, our uh, special events coordinator, Hector Rosas, who's worked very hard, put a lot of time in uh, to bring this event here. Uh, it means a lot to our city and our residents to be able to host this event and to get the exposure that we're going to be receiving. So again, very proud as mayor to be hosting this event. And that pride is extended to the thousands of fans who are lining the lakeshore right now in preparation for the race. Okay, Rich, here's the starting lineup. There are no designated starting positions as all competitors must line up equally behind the pace boat before the green flag drops. Earlier today, we had an opportunity to speak to some of these teams. We went to Mentor. Uh, we went out testing on uh, Saturday. We noticed the RPMs are off on the motor. We have two lifters that went away. My decision at that point was, you know what, let's just call it a day. We'll go out there, we'll cross the start-finish line, get our points. The wavefinder looks like flat water. Uh, looks like it's going to be very calm. Uh, in Minter, as you guys very well know, it was not flat. Uh, so we're looking for uh, you know, a little bit faster speed race and uh, um, some more cornering. Uh, the course is a little bit different than the, the standard rectangular course, so it's got some ins and outs and some different turns. So looking for fast water on the outside and um, hope for good acceleration on the, on the inside of the, of the breakwater. We race back home in pretty rough conditions. Um, you know, hey, obviously we like calm conditions. You're not getting beaten up so much, but um, I think the boat that we've got seems to be uh, great in any conditions, actually. It's uh, rough or calm, doesn't seem to phase the boat. We seem to be uh, fairly comfortable in both conditions. It's one of the most exciting moments in motorsports. The green flag is up. We're off to racing six of the world's fastest supercats. And they've got their tall wheels on today for sure. That is, they've got their high-speed propellers. They don't accelerate as well, but they have higher top end in these calm conditions. The early leader, WHM Motorsports, right now he's pulled out quite a lead, but you can see some of the challengers starting to spool up. Two heats of racing here today, Rich. The first heat is 11 and a half laps of racing. The boats right now are clocking speeds close to 120 miles an hour as they dip and dive into that first turn. And now the inside lane is not necessarily the advantage that it might have been in the earlier race over in Mentor because you want to keep those RPMs up, you want to keep the speed up. So a wider arc sometimes works to your advantage. Billy Moff, who went out early in Mentor, has a point to prove here today as he goes on the outside lane, Cleveland Construction, Performance Boat Center, and WHM Motorsports deck to deck. Now we're coming inside the breakwater where the waters are calmest. And this is an opportunity to really show your top end. But the quarters get very, very tight here, and you've got stone walls on both sides. So you must be very, very sure that you've got clean water in front of you before you nail that throttle. There has to be a lot of trust between the drivers and the throttle man. When you're on a course like this with so many turns, you're really required to enter into a turn, hold your lane as you jockey for position. But as you see, the boat on the outside, Billy Moffat, he's a master at this. He gives you no more than the absolute minimum that he has to give you. And that forced Cleveland Construction to kind of scoot out of there as quickly as he could. Otherwise, he would have been side by side and pinched. You know, Rich, in a NASCAR race, going down into the corners, they're trading paint, bumping quarter panels, bumping doors. What happens here in offshore racing? Do the boats actually touch? They actually do, and I think the builders love that because they get to fix them. But the reality is that these boats are so light that any serious contact does super damage to them and probably will take them out of the race. Boy, that's an exciting view right there looking down the tunnels. You see how these boats are set up? They fly on a cushion of air. There's a fine line between having maximum speed flying the boat 
and total disaster. And that same cushion, that same flying that you talked about, can be doubly problematical when you get behind the rooster tail of one of these things, because you've got, in this case, 1,500 horsepower worth of water pump, and if you get your bow too close to that, as light as these boats are, it can blow you over backwards. Lap number five, and the race is just as tight as it was at the beginning. Cleveland Construction has a slight lead over the second and third place boats, and Performance Boat Center has just made a nice move on WHM Motorsports. Now, you would think that these boats would be running wide open. In calm seas, they can't really do that. The engines will not sustain lap after lap of flat-out racing, so they have to hold back here and there on the race course to give the engines time to cool down a little bit and not to press them beyond their limits. Cleveland Construction out front where the water is the sweetest. They're hooked up. They're ready to do battle. Keep in mind that all these boats have twin 750 horsepower motors. They're all about the same weight, all about the same length. It comes down to a battle of setup. It comes down to a battle of nerves and it comes down to a battle of strategy. And right now you've got your one two boats at Mentor Ohio in reverse order. Cleveland Construction Over Performance Boat Center. We'll be right back. It's never ending fun at the destination for dining and more. Redhead Lakeside Grill. Open seven days a week. The saltwater pool is full and ready for summer fun. Stop by for our new breakfast buffet, nine till noon, Saturday and Sundays. We have three patios with outside seating overlooking the pool and the lake or dine inside. Redhead Lakeside Grill, your year round destination for dining and more. We're a national construction firm that builds buildings and partnerships. Operating as a family, dedicated to your success, and ready for the next challenge. We don't let the project run us. We run the project. Because we own our responsibilities and deliver on our promises. You have the vision, we make it true. Welcome to Supply Technologies. We are a global supply chain company with a network of branches on three continents, supporting over 100 industries. Partnering with businesses best in their class, we provide unique total supply management programs. At Supply Technologies, we believe one size never fits all. Working closely with each of our customers, we design supply chain programs from the ground up. These programs allow our customers to build smarter, faster and more cost-effective products by simply reducing the total cost of ownership. These costs can include the purchase cost of the product as well as indirect costs such as vendor management, inventory carrying costs and administration. Supply Technologies allows you to focus on what you do best. While we manage your small component supply chain, we are Supply Technologies, the efficiency expert. Race World Offshore Great Lakes Grand Prix is presented by Performance Boat Center, the nation's largest full-service performance boat dealer, and by Lakeshore Savings, putting people first. We're on lap six of heat number one of the Super Cat race here in Dunkirk, New York, and we have a problem with our leader who's pulling off the course as we speak. Cleveland Construction, we have a problem. Yeah, something's come off. Oh my gosh, Rich, you think these guys take their racing seriously? To say the least. We're more than halfway through the race. Let's set the scene. Performance Boat Center out in front. Mira Coyle, driver, Johnny Tomlinson on the gas sticks, looking for their second win in a row. In second place, veteran Billy Moff. WHM Motorsports hooked up, ready to make a challenge. In third place, the MCON, Tyson Garvin and Tyler Miller. In fourth place, an international field with pro fours, Wayne Platter and Chris Hand. Bringing up the rear, AMH. This is a brand new team trying to get some time in the boat. That's Aaron Hope, the driver, and Anthony Smith on the sticks. 
Entering into lap 11, a classic battle for third and fourth place between the MCON and Pro Floors. As we go on board, look at the lower part of your screen. They don't have rear view mirrors in these boats. They use cameras to tell where they're at on the race course. And Pro Floors seems to have found a combination from Kiwiville. They are flying right now, taking that position away. They've got their sea legs. They've kind of figured out where they want to be. They've got their eyes on the leader. As this battle for third and fourth place is shaping up, it's deck to deck. MCON goes to the outside. Pro Floors on the inside. Pro Floors has secured third place. They now have their eyes riveted on WHM, this boat right here, for second place. Billy Mop trying to fight off the challenge of Pro Floors as they both work together to try to reel in our leader. There's less than 10 seconds between first, second, and third place. The Performance Boat Center has been the class of the field today. WHM at maximum trim setting, trying to catch up, and Pro Floors right on their tail. MCOM has fallen a little bit off the pace here in the closing laps. And coming down to the finish, the clear winner, Performance Boat Center, Mira Coyle, John Tomlinson, the best of the best. We've seen this movie before, uh, Rich. Happy jubilation inside the cockpit. Didn't matter whether it was the rough water in Mentor or the smooth water here in Dunkirk, Performance Boat Center had the winning combination. Myra Coyle climbing out of the boat and getting ready to accept the ceremonial checkered flag. There's no feeling like it in the world of motorsports. First place, Performance Boat Center. Checkered flag, flying in the breeze. And the Supercat fleet comes back to the pits in preparing for their second heat. The standings after the first heat are as follows. Performance Boat Center, WHM, Pro Floors, MCON, AMH. Once the boats got spread out a little bit, our setup gave us some good mile an hour on the back straightaway, and that's where we were making our ground. And thankfully, we were able to get through it safe and win this one and try and go do it again. The reason that we race is to market the fact that we're good at what we do and that a person can feel comfortable to come to Performance Boat Center and have the same technicians work on their boat that work on the world champion Supercat. So the little things that you learn here can really uh, trickle down into a pleasure boating, not having a bad weekend because we've seen it already. They're a great asset. That's who put the boat together and rigged the boat. Um, Andy in the shop up there does a phenomenal job of uh, any questions answered 24-7, um, hands-on if we need. Um, he comes to a lot of the races. Performance always has somebody here that will look after us. The boat was re-rigged, uh, completely dismantled, re-rigged by Performance Boat Center. Uh, we've known Myrick for a long time growing up, and uh, he helped us get into the race world. He's been super to us. The Pro Stock Cat Battle is up next from Dunkirk, New York. There is a new day dawning in the field of cancer care, and a new company is leading the way, providing new answers for the treatment of cancers that can help change lives and how they are lived. For patients and caregivers all around the world, see what we are building. New drugs, new therapies, new facilities, new ideas. A Phoenix, improving the lives of cancer patients everywhere. Lakeshore Savings has been there for generations of Western New Yorkers. So it's our goal to make sure each new generation has the financial tools they need to thrive. From making your first deposit to financing your first business, we'll guide you with the right support. We know that achieving your financial goals requires personal attention, which is why we'll always put your needs first. Get started on your next project with a home equity line of credit at 3.5% APR for 12 months. And as new generations are born, Lakeshore Savings will be here to greet them. When you want performance fast, for performance you can trust, Performance Boat Center is the nation's largest performance dealership with all the nation's top brands in one location, utilizing over 30 years of sales experience to help you consign, sell, or buy the right boat. From drive repair to rebuilds, to engine maintenance and repair to custom rigging, our Mercury and Verado certified technicians will get you back on the water fast. From touch-ups to a complete paint job, Paint by Performance has you covered from concept to application. Go to performanceboatcenter.com, where the focus is performance and getting performance fast. Race World Offshore Great Lakes Grand Prix is presented by Performance Boat Center, the nation's largest full-service performance boat dealer, and by Speedboat Magazine, your source for high-performance boating news. And now it's time for the Pro Stock Cat Class here at Dunkirk, New York. These are catamarans between 28 and 32 feet in length with Mercury 300 horsepower outboards. 
Pro Stock Cat. It's a family affair. In the last race, we featured a father and son team. Today, we're going to take a look at the father and daughter team of Jim and Lindsay DeNoyer. This is the first time we've actually raced together. Uh, we've run our the other boat around and done some events and stuff, but this will be the first time with intercoms and actually running together in this new situation. It's in a blast new... racing with my dad. He um, he definitely encourages me. He's a great teacher out there. He has so much experience and I think it's a great thing for us to do. It's definitely something that we bonded over over time. As they enter the milling area, here are the lineups for Pro Stock Cat and Pro Stock V. You can only imagine the excitement inside the cockpit. Sometimes the best man for the job is a woman. And she's concentrating on the start. The pace boat is waiting for the boats to line up. When they see that there's an even shot for everybody, they replace the flag with a green one, and we are go for racing. FJ propellers right to the lead, but look at CR. What a turn of speed off the start. Acceleration, amazing acceleration from those two Mercury 300 horsepower outboards. CR Racing goes into the lead. A little bit of a surprise as they take the lead out in the smooth water. The boats aren't jumping around here today. They are just flat out hooked up. They certainly are. The acceleration is interesting because they also have top end. That boat is just flat fast today. It likes calm water. We talked about Pro Stock Cat being a family affair. Here's the father and son, Allen team. This is a barn burner from the start. CR has the perfect line. They're forcing FJ to the outside, and they're pinching the boat on the inside the Allen team. Right behind them are the Denoyers, their first time in a twin-engine outboard. She's doing a great job. You can see the concentration on father and daughter. Getting these boats to manhandle them through the turns is not an easy task. As they go deck to deck, the inside lane, that's the fast lane. We are three wide. Wait a minute. Right now we are four wide in the turn, and these guys are at their maxes. Look at that slight hook there coming around. The boats are so light and nimble on the water, but that same speed that they have, you can carry too much in there. It's a real delicate balance when you turn. The driver and the throttle man have to be perfectly in sync to make sure these turns are carved accurately and correctly. Team Allen, last race, they were inched out by FJ Propeller. Can they catch him this time? The cats have the advantage in the smooth water. The V-bottom's in the big water. Here we have in our Pro Stock V-Class, the Marker 17. It's a 30-foot outer limits, 525 Mercury's, Brian Forehand and Vincent Diori in the cockpit, being chased by a 30-foot Phantom, Team Octane. Jim Simmons and Tony Canale trying to run down the outer limits. As we start lap number three, still tightly bunched, CR racing in the lead, second, third, and fourth very close together. The Denoyers, Jim and Lindsay doing quite well. Oh no, problems on board, Team Octane looks like they're going to have to return to the pits. As we go into lap number four, the Allen team has an idea. They want to track down and pass their nemesis, FJ Propeller. Gorgeous turn there perfectly carved as he came around in a perfect position, take the inside lane and force that FJ propeller out. You notice, Rich, when they go through the turns, they kind of slide, almost like a, a dirt track kind of a car. They can't really hold a steady line. They have to be able to just kind of maneuver their way around those corners. And that's why you see them giving a wider margin than you used to in automobiles. Because of that sliding, you're never quite sure where that boat's going to wind up. As we enter the halfway point in the race, the boats are hooked up, going deck to deck, looking for the inside lane if they can possibly get it. Wow! We've just had a, a boat hook up completely and run right over the turn buoy. FJ propeller doesn't seem to be damaged, but it sure did damage that buoy. Rich, what just happened? Classic hook. It's a semi-spin out. You lose control of the boat for a second in a turn, and you wind up running over anything that's in your way. Fortunately for them, they ran over the soft turn buoy and not the steel buoy, which was right behind it. Safety is number one concern in offshore racing. We are in a yellow flag condition. Rich, tell us what that means. That means that when the racers see that yellow flag, they have to maintain extreme caution, stay away, turn wide, and run cautiously through there. They can't pass in this particular location. The good news is they got a spare buoy out there in record time and didn't interfere with the race itself. As we look at the leaderboard, CR Racing, a comfortable lead out front. Team Allen in second, FJ Propellers coming back after the hitting that buoy is in third. And here come the Denoyers. I've known them for many years. I actually built them a race boat in the early 80s. 
with Team Octane out of the race, Marker 17, Marine has the lead. You'd think they'd slow down? No way, they've got the throttles down. Following the theory of take the lead and then advance your position, CR Racing coming in for an undisputed first place in this race. And Team Allen coming in second place, very strong today. After a disappointing DNF in Mentor, Rob Understall and Casey Boaz, how sweet it is. CR Racing, the winner in Pro Stock Cat. Let's go down to the pits and talk to the winners. It felt great. It's been a tough uh, season so far. Casey and I have been, he's been working his tail off on the boat all year, and uh, it just came together today. The setup worked well. Uh, we wanted to be the first to the pin, and we got there, and, and we just never looked back. Everything came together just fantastic. We were uh, going a little uh, hot into the turn and really trying to, to catch up, and uh, we were sliding a little bit. When it hooked, the buoy was right in front of us. There was just no avoiding it. So, uh, you know, we tried a little too hard. And, uh, but we're so good that we hit the inflatable one and not the metal one that was right behind yeah. it. That's the difference between professionals and rookies. I'd just like to throw that in there, and the, the wee part is French. Fitting comment after French kissing that buoy. And up next, Supercat, heat number two. We are DFT Communications, connecting Western New York State through the power and speed of advanced technology. With ideas that inspire innovation and superior customer service, we provide digital communication solutions to business, government, education, and our neighbors. DFT connects communities with fast, reliable internet and Wi-Fi, digital phone service, and state-of-the-art monitored security. DFT Communications, proudly serving Chautauqua County and environments for 120 years. It's never-ending fun at the destination for dining and more, Redhead Lakeside Grill, open seven days a week. Meet your friends and sit poolside and enjoy the view with a cocktail. Redhead Lakeside Grill, your year-round destination for dining and more. Race World Offshore Great Lakes Grand Prix is presented by Performance Boat Center, the nation's largest full-service performance boat dealer, and by... Redhead Lakeside Grill in Osage Beach, Missouri. American cuisine with Midwest flair. Final heat for all the marbles. Heat number two of Supercat. Performance Boat Center won the first heat. They have more points than anybody else, but it's the combined points of both heats that'll determine the overall winner. Strategy is key. The boats have had plenty of time to make changes, to modify propellers, to change the setup, to fix any broken engine parts. They're ready to go as we go to green flag racing once again, instantly, right off the start. Cleveland Construction goes right to the lead. Flat out drag race. MCON has clearly made some changes between the first and second heat. They've got a lot of speed and they charge from the rear as the flag dropped beautiful piece of starting engineering and they did a spectacular job with that flag. Rich, you think that uh, Johnny Tomlinson is playing it cool back there in the back of the pack, just trying to size things up? Well, I think he's got the best hand out there on the playing table, so he knows that he can just wait his turn and make his moves as he needs to based on the points he's already got in his pocket. Coming around the turn, we're four wide. Performance Boat Center on the outside, coming up the rooster tail. Pro Floors leading the pack, the MCON, and on the inside, Cleveland Construction. Four wide? I think you mean six wide. They're coming around in a bundle. These boats are also evenly matched. They're going into the turns together, and you've got to be very careful right now because this is where you look out for that dreaded contact. MCON taking a surprise early lead. Cleveland Construction pulling the line. There's less than a boat width between the two of them. Pro Floors on the outside, diving down on the buoy, coming across. Oh, what a move as he moves to the inside lane. Cleveland Construction takes the lead, but Pro Floors went to school in that first heat. Those Kiwis are fast learners. They've made some spectacular moves already in this race, and that boat is just flat out fast right now. Maybe the fastest boat on the course. You can throw a blanket around the leaders. Pro Floors on the inside. Cleveland Construction on the outside. Billy Moff sticking his nose into the action. 
and the Kiwis are really asserting themselves right now. Whatever they did between heats, it's working. They've got top end, they've got handling, they've got performance, and they've made some spectacular moves in the turns to take a really strong lead as they blast out of the harbor here in Dunkirk, New York. The real question, where's Performance Boat Center? Where's Johnny Tomlinson? How's he setting himself up knowing that he's already got the most points in the bank? Right now it looks like he's stuck back in traffic and has quite a few boats to get around to even have a thought about taking the lead. Wayne Vlader and Chris Hanley traveled from New Zealand to the U.S. to prove a point, and they are proving it. Right now they're in the lead, they've got the speed, they've got the boat to beat right now. Welcome to the USA Pro Floors as we motor into lap number three. It's anybody's race. Still tightly packed and still boxed in, Performance Boat Center having a very difficult time extricating themselves from the rest of the fleet. On board the Cleveland construction. Oh my gosh, it looks like they're checking into Heartbreak Hotel again. Problems with the engines. That takes one of the top competitors out of the race also reduces the number of people out there and advances the points for all of the other boats behind the leader. Yeah, something's come off. Okay, we don't want more. Back to our leader, New Zealand number one. That number means they are the national champions of New Zealand. And they're showing that a national champion from New Zealand can compete on the national circuit in the United States. They're competing quite well right now. We've got a major upset in the works right now with New Zealand out in front, MCON in second, WHM Motorsports in third, and Performance Boat Center surprisingly tucked back in the field in fourth place. AMH still getting their sea legs as they learn the ins and outs of offshore powerboat racing. Turning lap speeds comparable to the winners of the first race, Pro Floors has dominated and put their stamp on this second heat. This boat is for real. It's done an outstanding job and they have won number one in heat number two. This win is no fluke. A dominating performance by the Pro Floors team. They've led virtually wire to wire. They're all smiles inside the cockpit. Wayne and Chris, a hard fought win. Second place and quite a turnaround from the first heat, the MCON team. Third place, Billy Moff in the WHM. But the celebration is right here. And one thing we know about these guys, they know how to party. A masterful driving performance. They diced and moved through the pack with precision and authority. And here's the results. Pro Floors, MCON, WHM Motorsports, Performance Boat Center, AMH, and Cleveland Construction, a DNF. You know, you try and pick your line on where you're going to go and you just hope that uh, if you have a boat in front of you that uh, they're not going to squeeze you to, uh, into, in, into the left or into the right. So you've got to be well aware of, of that possibly happening as well. I mean, uh, they're out racing trying to hold their line. They don't want you coming up on them. We made some changes in the second race. Uh, allowed us to keep up our speed a lot better coming in and out of the harbor. Um, allowed us to, to do a lot better in the second race, obviously. Started the second race, out in the lead again and the ignition box went bad. It just quit. So it basically shut, shuts the engine off, and uh, that was our day. And he's not the only one who had a bad day. The Pro Floors team from New Zealand had a technical infraction in the first heat and wound up with only third place points, leaving Performance Boat Center as the overall winner. The Great Lakes Offshore Grand Prix, we've had a little bit of everything. Rough water, calm water, disappointments, some technical problems, and some also some big smiles from everybody, including Gary Ballou. Well, all in all, an unqualified success. And as the final festivities wrap up, I think Dunkirk, New York should be proud, and so should Race World Offshore, for an outstanding event. And for Mark Spencer, this is Rich Lures wishing you all good racing.